Hello everyone, welcome you all for the next lecture of this course, Selevi Java. Now we will start module 4. Module 1, we have done basics of Java. In module 2, we have done Selenium course. In module 3, we have done Selenium script. We have done how to write script in Selenium. Now module 4, Selenium framework. So let's start now. These are the outlines for this topic. First of all, Selenium framework, coding in the framework. What are the advantages of the framework? Types of Selenium framework. Okay. Then we will learn in detail data diamond framework, how to use PI library, and we can see one program for reading data by using data driven framework. Now, Selenium framework. What do you mean by framework? Frame means that's like in a photo, something in structure form. So framework is a set of rules, a set of structure, okay, so that we can achieve quality of product. Okay. Uh, suppose this code is there, if a uh, number of uh, lines will increase in any code, the code uh, will uh, look uh, very complex, okay, very untidy. Then a tester will uh, not take interest uh, in this testing. Okay. So if that code is small, readable, usable, understandable, then testing will be easy. So framework is a type of uh, like uh, uh, wherever we go somewhere and that uh, place is very decorable and uh, very presentable format and it looks good. The same here, if you want to achieve the quality product, then the structure should be good. Okay? So framework is related to that structure. Okay, So framework is a set of rules, a set of rules or a structure by which we can achieve quality product. Okay, so it is related to the structure or set of rules. Got it? If framework is not there, then everything, your whole code, whole data will be in the same script. Okay, if you rem uh, remember, uh, this is our Selenium script and this is your AUT application under text. Okay, and we write code over here, we write the script over here. If we are having the largest data and data and uh, code, everything is inside this one script, then it becomes uh, very uh, needs, uh, not understandable problem. It will not be easily readable. But if we have separate data over here, okay, and according to need, we call the data, then it looks good. So without framework, we place code as well as data in the same script. Without framework, we place code as well as data in one script form. And that will be readable, uh, not readable or not reusable. So framework is important. If you want the quality product, then framework is important. So framework is a set of rules or structure by which we can achieve quality product. And without framework, we place code as well as data in the same script, which is not readable or not famous. So advantage of framework is easy code maintenance. Easy code maintenance, code reusability, the experience size of code. Okay. Uh, easy code maintenance means uh, if there is any issues in the code, then if code will be small, if you will say, uh, keeps data in separate place, the code will be small and to find any mistake, it will be easy. So easy code maintenance. Easy code maintenance. And uh, these code can be reused. So code reusability also is there. And definitely if you uh, keep the data separate, then your whole size of uh, code will be reduced. So reduction in size of code. So advantage of framework is easy code maintenance, Code reusability, reduction in size of code, reduction in size of code. These are the types of Selenium framework, data-driven framework, keyword-driven framework, behavior-driven framework, hybrid-driven framework, test and the test acceleration framework. Among these uh, five, behavior-driven framework is driven by Cucumber software that is not available. So data-driven framework means if framework is driven by data, if it deals with the data, okay? If framework is uh, driven by the keywords, then it's called keyword-driven framework. If 
it is driven by the behavior, then it's called behavior driven framework. Combination of DDF and KDF means data driven framework plus keyword driven framework is called hybrid driver. Test in this test next generation framework. Okay. Uh, DDF, data driven framework also abbreviated as DDF. Keyword driven framework also abbreviated as KDF. Hybrid driver framework also abbreviated as HDF. So we'll learn detail in all these three data, keyword, and hybrid testing. Okay. Uh, we'll not uh, study this behavior driven framework. We'll study data driven framework, keyword driven framework, hybrid driven framework, and test and okay. So first of all, uh, we learn data driven framework. Okay. As I have, I have already told you, short form it is also called as DBF. Okay. Here, data driven framework. If framework is designed by data, driven by data, then it is called data driven framework. And in here, we will separate data from the script. We will separate data from the script. Means this is your script and this is your data. Data is separated from your script. Okay. Data is separated from the script. And this is your application or websites where you are doing testing. Okay. So data will be at some other locations, will be at another location. So uh, uh, data driven framework is useful when we are having a multiple set of data. Okay. And we are having multiple set. Suppose we are going to check, we are going, uh, going to check uh, login of uh, 50 users. Okay. For uh, means uh, this, uh, we want to check the uh, login of Facebook, but we are having data of 50 users, so 50 username, 50 password. If we we'll write the code for all 50, then it becomes very lengthy and very complex. But what we will do, we will uh, store the data of 50 users' name and 50 password at some location. Okay. And according to need, we will call one by one. We'll call first user, first password, then we'll check. Uh, on the web uh, issues, I mean, uh, on the websites, means it's AOP, application under test. Okay, so your URL is suppose I'm going to check for Facebook. Okay, so first we'll check for first user play password, whether login is successful or not. Then we'll check for second user. We'll check for third user, fourth user, up to 50 user we have to check. But we'll, uh, what we will do, we'll store the credential of all the 50 user password at other location, like in Excel file. Okay. And we'll call one web. So then it becomes easy. It becomes easy for doing testing. So data driven framework is also called as DDF. Here the main advantage is data is at other location and script at other location. So data is at other location and script is at other location. Okay. So in this way it becomes easy. So in data driven framework, okay, first of all, uh, you have to store the data in some uh, file. So for that file, this is used command file into the stream class. And for that class, you have to in, uh, import package java dot okay. So because data is stored at one location, that location is your file and your file is package. And you have to import that package. Okay. Now that file is in Excel format, so workbook. In workbook, inside workbook, there is sheet. You have to mention sheet name, otherwise, uh, by index sheet 0, sheet 1, sheet 2, like that. Then row by index, cell means column by index. Okay, this is for Excel file. In Excel file, POI library is used to read data and write data from Excel. And then Excel file is in XLS or XLSX format. XLX or XLX format. Okay. So POI, that is poor application implementation. This POI library is very, very important for reading or writing data from the Excel file. Means if you want to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, want to store data or retrieve data from any Excel file, so for uh, approaching Excel file, we need POI library. What is POI? POI is a product of Apache. POI is a product of Apache. That is available in jar formats. So we have to download all the POI um, jar files from www.apache.org. Then you will use it to perform read and write operation. 
how to uh, download this. So this is a site, HTTPS, POI.apache.org. When you will click this, you uh, will find this window. Okay. Then click on archives of all prior links. Then this window will open. Here, uh, after this, there will be, see here, archives of all prior links. Click on this. When you will click on this, you will find this. Here, click on this binary artifacts. Then the POI folders are there. Then, uh, uh, install latest version. Install the latest version uh, like here. POI bin 5.2.3 JIP 5. This is the latest version. Install the latest version. Okay. Then extract this in, uh, in the desired folder. So I have already explained you. Uh, preferably, if you want to do parallel with me, create a folder named Selenium and CD drive. In Selenium folder, create a folder POI. In that folder, extract your POI jar files. POI bin 5.2.3. In C drive, Selenium folder, in Selenium folder, create a folder POI and POI folder, extract all the POI library which you have installed. Okay. So while writing a script, we use variable rather than actual credential. Rather than actual credential. So uh, this I will explain for any file, you have to uh, you import java.i.h. This is an interface means uh, if you want to deal with uh, any Excel file, so first deal with workbook, then C, then Pro and Cell. If it's a dot .xls format, HSS of workbook, HSS of sheet, HSS of row, HSS of cell. Means first workbook, then sheet, then row, then cell. Excel file can be either in dot .xls format or dot .xlsx format. Okay. So for xlsx, you have to use x capital X, xssf workbook, C, row, cell. If you are using .xls format, use hsf. Okay, workbook sheet row cell. It is an interface. You have to use this. Okay. Then, if you want to do programming for any uh, data driven framework for reading data, first install POI library. After installation, you have to configure the, those jar files in the Eclipse. For that, what you have to do, you have to click on reference library. In reference library, right click. There will be build path. Uh, then click on configure web path and add external jar are here. Browse location of POI library and add all the jar files over here. Okay. And then for Excel file, create an Excel file uh, where you want to store. So I have created my Excel file in C drive in Selenium folder only. Excel file and format I have used .xlsx folder. Okay. See, this is my C drive in, the, in C drive cell, uh, POI folder. In Selenium folder, UI folder, in PI folder, I have created Excel sheet okay, where I have stored the credential, username, password for Orange HRM application. That I means I will want to do. This is the program, program of uh, read data from Orange HRM. Okay, first launching website. Up to launching website, program is same in all the A programs, whichever we have done from modern 3 to now in modern. First, you have to mention system dot set property, uh, property of driver. So we are using web driver, uh, Chrome driver, so web driver dot Chrome driver, and then location of the uh, Chrome driver exe file. In my system, it's in C drive, Selenium driver folder, Chrome driver, Chrome driver dot exe. Then these two lines for the exception in the latest version of Chrome, Chrome options, options, it was to be Chrome options. And uh, add argument in the options, they would allow all this. Because with, uh, we, uh, without using this, uh, the desired URL was, URL was not launched. Only Chrome driver was ready. Then create an uh, object of web drivers, web driver WD equals to new Chrome driver, and inside it, pop show. Then for launching website, wd.get URL. URL means whatever URL uh, you are going to provide. So here I'm dealing with open source uh, or HRM because uh, it's an open source software. It is uh, very easy or uh, uh, easy software to learn for beginners. Okay. First, I have to mention the file. Okay. For that, syntax is file input stream. Then variable you can give anything. So I have mentioned here file f input is f i s the new file. Is Input stream, and here I have given the location of my Excel file that is in C drive, Selenium Excel. Now, I have explained you uh, the, the interface. Interfaces first, we have to deal with workbook, 
workbook to sheet, sheet to row, row to column. Okay. So first we have to show the workbook. So work X, since I'm using XLS6 format, so it should be X. Otherwise, it should be H. So X is a workbook. This is initial. I'm giving WA equals to nav X is a workbook. Workbook is inside the part of Excel file. Excel file. So Excel file uh, initial is FI. So inside the bracket FI. Okay. The workbook is done. Then we'll deal with sheet. So X is a sheet equals as uh, initialization. I'm giving as it. Sheet. Take reference of previous one. That is WK. So WK dot cat sheet and name read OHM. Means uh, read orange HRM application date. That I will give the date. Got it? Understood? First, we'll mention. Uh, first, we'll mention the file. In file, we have mentioned the variable FIS. Then we have mentioned the workbook. Okay. And workbook mention the sheet, and sheet will mention the row. In row, we mention the column. Okay. So workbook W equals to new workbook FIS sheet. As it is WK dot that sheet name. After that, uh, in the Excel sheet, we have applied this for loop. This I'll explain with this example of uh, example in Eclipse. Okay. So let's start your Eclipse. Okay. Now, first of all, uh, before uh, doing programming in Eclipse. Okay, uh, first we'll install the POI library. So for that, I will explain you. I'm just in repeating here. Okay. Uh, just uh, type POI dot Apache dot org. POI dot Apache dot org at Google. Okay, this window will open. After this, release nodes. Okay. Here. Wait a minute. Sorry, down, set the download page for more details. Okay. In download page, here, archives of all prior release, click. Okay. Now click on binary artifacts. In binary artifacts, see the latest version is five point two point three. Okay, five POI bin five point two three zip files. Click on over it and download because I have already downloaded it. That's why I'm not clicking for here. Just click. So POI library installed. Okay. Next is go to your Eclipse. Uh, my module is module four Selenium framework. In module four, there is a reference library. See, again this. This is my project Selenium with Java. In my project, Java projects are basics of Java. Model three is Selenium script. Uh, Selenium script. Model four Selenium framework and model two Selenium groups. So now we are on uh, module four. Okay, expand it. Here, this is reference library. Click, right click on reference library. If you're doing panel with me, and please do. Then build path, in build path, configure build path. Right click on reference library. Okay, again listen. Right click on reference library. Then build path, configure build path. I've already uh, have all the jar files. Okay. But for use, click on library, add external jars. Okay. Uh, then in C drive, okay. Uh, before that, I just first let me explain. If you've installed the CRPY files, so what I have done, I have uh, created a folder named Selenium in C drive. Okay. In C drive, I have created a Selenium folder. In Selenium folder, I have created POI folder. In Selenium folder, in C drive, I have created Selenium folder. In Selenium folder, I have created a folder of Selenium jar where I have 
extracts the linum jar file. Then similarly, this I have created a driver folder where I have extracted the clone driver file, exe file. Just like this driver and this selenium jar, I have created a folder POI. In POI folder, I have extracted this POI bin 5.2.8. Okay. So what I have done, all the files related to selenium, I have extracted in the selenium folder. All the files related to selenium, uh, later on you will work on, uh, like you will work on Marvin, Allure, everything I have installed in the C drive selenium folder. So for me, it's easy. If you want, you can do it. Okay. So in selenium folder, I have created a folder PUI, in PUI folder, PUI bin 5.2.3. Unzip over here. That's, these are these. Okay. So now come to Eclipse over here. So click on reference library. Build path, extract, uh, configure build path here. Okay, click on libraries, add external jar. Okay, remember in the PI folder, PI bin 5.2.3, these all are jar files. Select all this, this, this. Okay, select all this and extract open. I'm not doing this because I have already opened my list. I've already added. Okay, done. Then again, click on the air external jar. These are the come here, PUI bin folder. Okay, these are, PM these are outside files. Then click on this library. Whatever common codec, codec jar file, select these also. Okay. Then again, add external jar. Okay, in POI library, then OXM library. Click on this and select all the jar files. For it. Means whatever jar files in the PUI build folder, select everything. Otherwise, you will get some error and you will not understand which type of error because logically there will be no error. There will be some library list. So these are, are the libraries required. Got it? Apply and close. Okay. Means in the Selenium folder, in PUI folder, three types of jar files. First jar files in the output. So these jar files you have to add, then add these library jar files. Okay, then add this OXML library jar files. Then, so that is the thing uh, you have configure your POI files. See, when you will expand this reference library, all the files will be over here. All the files uh, means uh, I have uh, taken some important important jar files, but for you it will be convenient. You just take all the jar files, all the libraries over here. Then this is for PUI. Now next is first create an Excel file. So in C drive in Selenium folder, I have created an Excel file. I have created an Excel file. In Excel file, this is your workbook. In workbook, there are seeds. Okay, so these are different sheets. Uh, so I have created one sheet with name read OX. Means I uh, I'm going to do programming of uh, this or a HR method. Right. I, I will go to do uh, scripting of OHM application. So for that I need username and password that is data. So that data I'm storing over here. So first row username password, second row admin admin one to pick value of username, value of password. Then save this file in the format .xlsx format. Okay. So uh, see here, it will uh, see the property here. So in property, it is showing type of file is .xlsx. Okay. And here also it is mentioning Excel file .xlsx. Okay. So Excel calculation is done. Now we'll start the programs. Okay. So in Selenium framework, I am creating a new class. This is my package, Selenium framework. And package, I'm creating a new class. And I'm doing the programming of read, read OHM data. Okay, I am going to uh, read data for, uh, for OHM from the Excel file. So, including main method, finish. 
including plain method and finish. Now, first step is always remember we have to launch the application. First step is we have to launch the application. Okay. So for launching application, I can uh, copy from the previous program. Okay. So that time can be saved. Okay. So package name is Selenium Framework. Okay. Selenium Framework package name. Uh, this is my Java project name, Model for Selenium Framework. Package name is Selenium Framework, and package name class name is your read OHM. Okay, then this is your main method. In my method, I will explain you again. I'm repeating first, you have to set the property of driver. So, syntax is system dot set property web driver dot chrome driver. Then, location of chrome driver for my system, my chrome driver is in inside C. Then Selenium folder, then driver folder, then Chrome driver main 32, and uh, inside it, Chrome driver dot exp. Okay. These two lines for this, um, for uh, allowing all the origins. So for that, you have to use options, Chrome options, equals to new Chrome options, and options dot add arguments. And inside it, remote allow arguments. Then create object of web driver, web driver WD equals to new Chrome driver and inside it options. Now WD dot get URL. So we are dealing with the URL HTTP open source demo or Okay. So then we want uh, a unique way for the whole program. So then I'll use implicit way. I want similar type weight in for the whole program. So implicit weight is a global weight. This one line statement of weight is applicable for the whole program. So how to write it? WD dot manage dot timeouts dot implicitly weight duration of second. And before that I just want to window in uh, maximize format. So WD dot manage what I want to manage window. Then what I want to do with window maximize. Okay, so window will be maximized. Now at uh, console, I just want to uh, display the title of web page. The title of web page, wd driver dot get title. Get titles for this. Okay, then again, there is no need uh, to uh, write this way again. Okay, this is the means up to here, we have launched the website. We have launched the application. Now, first of all, I have to mention the file. So for that, I have to write file, input string, file input string. I'm giving initial FIS equals to new file input string. Then location of my file. So my file is here. This, so copy location from over here. This file copy this location C drive selenium in selenium. There is Excel file, it's a smaller capital letter to check. P is capital Excel file, Excel file dot XLS Excel file dot excel as x okay then close it semicolon and here in double quotes okay now see the cross is here because we have to import this invalid escape is here always Double slashes there. Okay. Now for file, it cannot be resolved to type. Means it should be import. For importing, just click on this, right? Import java.iv. I will explain in the PPT that we have to uh, install java.iv package. 
Now, here it is asking for throw declaration exceptions. Okay, this is just we have defined the file. And what I have uh, explained with the interface first, we have to deal with workbook. Since format X is X, we have to deal with X as SSM. Work. Oh. I'm giving initial double A. Okay, it goes to new X SSM work book oh. and reference of file that is FIS. Reference of file that is FIS. Oh. Now again, we have to import this also. See, cannot be resolved by type. So just leave the cursor here, import SSM. Okay. Now, what is the interface? After workbook, we have to deal with sheets. So, X SSF is a sheet. I'm doing sheet name SH equals to no X SSF. Now, for sheet, reference should be of workbook. The reference will be of workbook. That is the name. Name is C. Come to the Excel file. Click on the Excel file. In Excel file, I am dealing with this read OHM file. Okay. So just copy this name. Paste over here. Means we are dealing with this particular sheet. Read OHM. And again, sheet we have to import. So, see, cannot be resolved with type. So, we will this import access. Okay. And concept the as a set sheet. So, I'm defined why it's undefined. Move this argument. Okay, we are not uh, creating any new sheet. We are taking sheet from work program. So wk dot get sheet. Let's see. That was uh, error was there because we have uh, uh, created the object of workbook and we have mentioned this is a file stored here. But now we have to. Uh, receive the information of sheet. The sheet we have mentioned with XSM sheet, and we have to uh, receive the sheet from the workbook. So that's why wk dot cat sheet and the name sheet is read o at j. Okay, Hi, this is okay. Now sheet is there. Workbook is there. Sheet is there. Now we have to deal with this row. Okay. So now first understand this. These are the rows, row 0, row 1, row 2, row 3. And these are the columns, column 1. Columns start from 1, 2, 3, six. Okay. So for row wise, you have to enter the columns. Row wise, you have to enter the columns. So we'll create one loop. Create one loop. Loop is for i equals to 1. This is the error because i is not defined, so it int should define in i equals to one. Then i should be less than equal to sheet. We are dealing sheet get last get last column uh, last row number get last row number row number. Okay, then I plus plus. Means the loop for this particular Excel is loop is start from I equals to one, not from zero. I equals to one to last one. Okay, so for this, what is I equals to one here? Because I is by default zero. So we don't, uh, <laughs> Don't any have any meaning with user and password. We just want this data. 
So let's start from this. Okay. From this I. Uh, this I is one. Because it's row zero, row one. So it starts from row one up to last row. Hello, data is like this also. So much data. Okay. So look, we will start from one, two, three, four. This up to last row. That's why here we are mentioned. Look, we want to last row number. To last row number. Okay. Then. Here. First of all, we'll mention the row. So for that row, XSF row. XSF row. And initially, I'm giving row W equal to from sheet get row. Get the row option. Get no. Okay. Now we'll uh, this is I. So we'll uh, put I. Okay. Because we have applied loop. So whatever the value of this plus I, their row will be uploaded. Here again cross means not type. So we have to uh, import this file also. It's a simple. Row is I. Okay. Row is changing. Now in row. Now to create the column. So for column X, S, S, F, cell. X, S, F, cell. Now column we have to create for two values. Row is one for everything same. But column we want username and password. So first for username, depending on when, equals to. So from row, get cell. And cell means initial value zero. Then again, excessive cell X SSF SSF cell for password. Again, there is row dot get cell one. Now, arrows there means again we have to import this. For sellers. Okay, see here. Can look with type means and start importing. What is syntax? So okay, now CISO command, CISO control space one. Okay, here I want this one to uh, press UN and password, username. Okay. This bus. This password we have that we have already mentioned. Okay. So this is username password. Then this loop over. After the loop over, then just open this. Right. We have to write program for uh, username, password, and everything. So I'm just clicking the site over here. Okay. Maybe you need to have a load site is not working. It takes time. Now for admin, right click inspect. This at bottom. Okay, now inspect. I can find by username, username. Just double it or find any things. Then what I want, I want to enter admin. Outside is
then the Woody dot find element by dot check for password. Sorry. Suspect and their name is password. And dot send please. Password is type in one for two. And the Woody dot find elements. Now next is for this login button. Inspect. See nothing is there, so I have to uh, copy the X bar. Copy X bar. File dot X bar. This I want to click this. Again, I have used elements S. That is a mistake on the element should be there. That's why I was getting the suggestion of A dot close. Okay. Uh, this was generally I was used up to the previous program. But here will not give the admin admin on three username and password here. Okay, so what I'll do, password I'll not mention over here because this username password, it will read from the Excel sheet. Okay, that program is here. The username, we have mentioned UN, so here we will write UN username, I'll just username Username dot to string. Okay, what is UN? Create local variable UN. You have to know the different. So similarly, we'll do here UN password pw dot to spring. Okay, here also, what is the password can not be reserved to a variable? Here, cannot be a variable. That we check. The name is road or text cell D. Cell D we are getting. Cell 0 is we are getting admin and cell 1 we are getting 150. Similarly, cell 0 admin. String type cell 1. See what was the error? I have closed the loop over here. That's why it was our understanding what is in there. If I'll uh, remove this cursor over here, and I was uh, I have closed loop over here that for showing the error. If I don't understand what is UN and what is PW. So I'll make cursor over here. So error is removed. Okay. So let me check whether this is working or not. Error is working fine. URL is opening, maximize username. Okay, let me check. I have it because I have been active in between. So maybe not URL opening. Uh, general page opening. 
it is stamped over here. Login and password is not working. Okay, let me see what is the issue. We have to find element by dot name, username. So let me check whether this username, because it's a practice site, so it can change every time. So look at bottom. Okay, and it is big. Username is fine, it's correct. Username. Fine and dot fan is UN dot display. Means it is working fine. See at the console, let's see first what will happen. Type of web page means this is working fine. Type of web page is orange array. Exception trade Java dot language class form array. Apache for mouse IO output unsignation array output stream at Serena framework. Zero HM main. Okay, so Java dot like dot class is not found. So there's some library missing, and I have what I explained you. Library issues can be there. Okay, it's very bad. And be the very bad. Now, um, and it's going to be See, I'm getting all this library. But I cannot find which library is missing. That will be a difficult task for me. I'm just selecting this. No, this. If oh, oh, this is duplicated, or oh, no, not duplicated. Have blank loss. Now let me see whether because it's an issue of PI library. Some jar file is missing. No class for me. Some jar file is missing. So open the site. Okay, please. Uh, next, we will do with some other files also. We'll check. Great path, and the good path. Last part. UI bin file or XML file is here. So this, this is done. Then library files. We'll check. Is it duplicate? Mm -hmm. Copies are yes, this is duplicate. Duplicate should be removed. Whatever copy it should be removed. Copy sign it there. First, to find this missing is the copy. Um, Okay, because if copy file is also there, that people then also it will not work. Then it will be difficult as to find the missing library. Uh, now it's working fine. Okay, so there was no program in the no logical error, only library was missing. Okay, understood. So, what I have done, I'm just explaining first. Uh, all the jar files, whatever we have uh, installed in PUI folder. Just uh, build part, configure build part, and add all the jar files. Okay. Now, see here Excel, it is row 0, row 1. So we have applied, uh, we have applied the loop from row 1 because in row 0, this username and password is heading only. So we don't we, uh, have any meaning with the padding. So we have applied loop from row 1. Okay. Applied from uh, row 1. And up to last row. Okay. Here we have uh, taken only one row, but you can take many more rows. So up to uh, last row number. Okay. Now first you have to get the rows. Okay. So I first loop is for I1. So I1, the row one will be there. So we deal with row one. Row one is this. Okay. Now with row one, we have to uh, get the data. Um, we want to read the data for uh, username pass. So for username, accessive cell, send for column, username, from row, get cell 0. And for password, from row, rw.getCell1. 
Okay, see, for row one, same row. Cell zero is for username, cell one for password. See here, for row one, cell zero for username, cell one for password. Cell zero for username, cell one for password. Okay, and here, I want that username password should be displayed at a uh, console also. Also display. Okay, now, find element just like how we find uh, before that. Just place your cursor at this, right click, inspect, and check. Okay, so only the difference is here we will not directly give this username password because we have already mentioned that in the Excel file. From that, you, ha uh, you have to receive the data. The username password. Here, here we go here. Okay. Suppose I'm adding one more row with username, admin, and password. Also, I'm just adding admin only. Okay. Now, loop will be twice. Okay. Loop will be twice. Because for I1, admin, admin one to three, for I2, will be admin. admin. So, we'll not get the login at second time, but we will get the uh, something at concern. See, for I equals to one, row is one. Cell zero is your username. Enter cell one password. Enter. Now when I equals to two, for I equals to two, it will try to log in, but will not successful. See here. Yeah. For that, uh, I'll explain. You would try and catch them. Okay, mean uh, that is exceptions. Uh, means uh, I want to get the output over here. Here I want that this is valid using the password valid output. When it tries to enter admin admin, it was invalid. So that we will learn the text texture how to. So, uh, for now, uh, just understand we have uh, done this. We have uh, operated the website from the data, but data we have taken from the Excel file. Simple. Okay. That I'll show you in the next lecture. Don't worry. Okay, I'll show you how to. Uh, means if uh, there are four or five username uh, password, then every time uh, it is uh, it is checking the website. If output is successful, so we'll enter result over here like this. Right, right. Valid, invalid, valid, invalid. Means uh, we have uh, entered so many username password and. Uh, it will check for every username password and after checking it will write a result also that we will learn the next lecture uh, now for uh, now uh, just understand that uh, we have created a data using a password in the excel sheet in excel sheet okay that's why if you find element so here you will not write using a password just take the reference of the variable which we mentioned here okay for username and password so till that time, keep learning, keep sharing, podcasting, and we'll make it next. Thank you so much.